Hello NoCode fans, today we're going to go over three new massive updates for Zapier and check them out and see how we can use them in our workflows. Check it out. So as you can see we're in our Zapier dashboard and there is two new tabs at the side there, tables and interfaces. They're both in testing so they won't get straight away, but these are what eventually going to come out when they've done the testing. Right, so let's check out tables. And tables, as you can imagine, are just like what they say they are. So you create a new table, create from template, create a table from a CS form, uh, CS file. And we've got one here, we've got create a to-do list. And as you can see, it's just like an Airtable, Google Sheets, any kind of database. You can create these tabs at the top, put send in order, you can make create field. You can tap, one thing I do like about it, you can attach the zaps from so you can do the zap straight away in their table you'd have to create a webhook so you can add field name field different field types as you can imagine one thing it hasn't got at the minute it's got a button here which buttons can do lots of things so you can start a zap you can do lots of different things and we will show in videos about later in more depth for the tables and the elements we're going to show into the showcase in today well as you can see there's lots of different field types you can do at the moment uh, one thing I haven't got which which is um, something there table that's got is formulas but I'm sure it's something they're working on you can do an icon as well at the side you can do different filters you can add filters you can create a zap which is completely connected to it uh, create a blank zap trigger when a new records are recorded different triggers like you can see there trigger when changes are made automatically add records to this table from a form or an app which is really cool hide fields filters as I say there so this is tables and in tables what you can do as well is in your zap if you open a zap up add an extra field and tables is there just like on Airtable you can choose an event create a table you can even create a table that's cool I didn't realize that you can create a table you can delete a record update a record so there's lots you can do you can continue zap button click so you can you can or you can initiate another zap from this zap you can instead of making it really elongated you can continue button and click another zap to run at the same time create a delete record duplicate table yeah there's lots you can do as you can see there table is something we're really, really excited about is to remove that extra extra tool out of your system you know if you use we use Airtable a great deal it would remove that the need for using Airtable Next things we're going to look at is here, which is interfaces. Now, now these are interfaces. There's lots of different things you can do with interfaces. We've been playing around with it quite a bit. Again, you can have zaps, you can connect them to a table. You can have... So what are interfaces? So interfaces are websites, pretty much. Different kind of websites you can build. We've made one here, really simple to use. It would really, really quickly make this website. You can have page options. You can put your own URL in there as well. Metadata, add components. At the minute, it's just very simple. You know what I mean? You add your components. Again, it's a zap. And it even gives you any bugs as well. That's the one we played around with earlier. You can add different pages, as you can see there. Create a page. Here's, here's it's got two pages. Let's play around with this one here. At the minute, it's just got a form, a sign up for a demo, URL. Let's add a component. Let's add this here. There we go. Add add that. And you can. There's a lot you can play around with here, as you can see. Let's add another component. Add a chatbot to here. There we go. There's a lot of things you can look at. Add data coming soon. You can connect a data source, which is really cool. You can add data. You can add data to different data sources. Coming so we can trigger actions from the chatbot to trigger trigger the zap. I mean, so the, these all in testing at the moment all look really amazing. We're going to more detail these purpose bit videos is to showcase what they can do. And the next thing Zap is making is with these Zap bots. Zap that bots you to create something really really cool. It, it's, it's all about AI. This is Zapier's version of basically ChatGPT. Now, if you like this video and want to learn all about No Code tools, please subscribe below and follow us at No Code Devs, which is really really cool. It's something slightly different. So. We'll, as you can see here, I've got an input here. I can add a field, write an input. That's just the title of the input, and that's it there. You know what I mean? This is the preview. This is the edit bit. And what I've got here is a URL. So you put this bit of code in here. Is read web page URL. Just that URL there, and let's grab a URL. Let's grab this one here. Copy that. Chuck it out into the test bit here. You should read this web page and generate a new hero using the AI from Zapier. There we go. And what I really like about this is it, 
it's just in real time and comes out underneath there so we could go use this bot this is what the bot looks like you can see there let's do it again this is what it'd be like on your website perfect right, really really cool you could upvote it downvote it copy to clipboard one thing you can't do at the moment which i think should uh, will be in the pipeline create an iframe for this it could be input on your website so the minute it's just these urls at the minute so you can't safeguard it from if you've got paid content but this looks absolutely amazing. It's really, really cool. Another thing it hasn't got at the moment is it has, it's only got one field type, written field type. It'd be nice to have drop down boxes and all, all that kind of stuff. It'd be nice if you could trigger maybe the app. That'd be pretty cool. But all, all these changes, the table, the zap box, and the interfaces all can make your project so much easier to build. You're trying to put one stop shop for no code tools and it's with the database and the interfaces it's making a great start and the zap bot is also pretty amazing right i hope you've enjoyed this we'll be making more videos on zap bots and zapier tables and zapier interfaces in later videos but for now keep on building